first of all, provide um, best practice um, clinical care to patients by providing the comprehensive multidisciplinary care for patients that they would receive if they came in in person to the hospital setting. Um, but rather than having to, you know, drive or fly or, or get there, um, we're able to provide services through telemedicine. Also, our goal is to develop a research program focused on clinical outcomes and quality of care. And then finally, to foster community capacity for hepatitis care. The team uh, that's part of telemedicine at the Ottawa Hospital in the viral hepatitis program includes an infectious disease specialist, so Dr. Sunil Varghese. Uh, there's the um, Ottawa, I mean Ontario Telemedicine Network coordinator, Anka, and then the program coordinator, uh, outreach nurse, social worker, myself as the psychologist for the team, and then the program director, Dr. Curtis Cooper. So all of us are accessible and, and um, are reachable to patients who access uh, our services through telemedicine. To date, um, the first patients that were seen through this program were seen in um, 2013. And since then, we've reached about 300 um, patients, including patients from Iqaluit and Pond Inlet. So some facts for you. Many of you here are probably very knowledgeable about hepatitis C, including more knowledgeable than myself. But just to get some of the facts out there, um, as we know, m many people, about 44% are estimated to have hepatitis C in Canada, but not know that they have it. There's no vaccine to protect against hepatitis C, and a person can live for many years without having any symptoms. An estimated one out of 100 Canadians has been infected with hepatitis C in their lifetime. And of course, it's a virus that attacks the liver which is significant because our liver performs lots of different functions and you can't live without it. So when it comes to treatment and care for hepatitis C, in order to better serve people that are living with hepatitis C, we need to think about what gets in the way of engaging or accessing treatment. Some important barriers or constraints to get, getting the care um, people people need are transportation issues, so not being able to travel to Ottawa for the monitoring or appointments. A really important one is access to treatments, including um, constraints to provincial and territorial drug coverage. As we know, um, the, the medication is quite expensive. And then access to a fibro scan, which is um, used to test the, the stiffness of the liver to see how far the, the hepatitis C has progressed or other methods of accessing or assessing the, um, the health of the liver. Monitoring of side effects and the health uh, um, status of patients and then also treatment adherence support. As we've heard already today, it's so important that we not just provide um, you know, the treatment, but really wrap around the, the patient and the person living with hepatitis C all the supports they need, including um, support for um, alcohol and substance use, so not expecting every patient that comes in for treatment to not still be using, um, to support mental health needs to also address or support patients in other health issues, other comorbidities, to consider um, social determinants of health, so needs in terms of housing, food, income security. And that's why we have a multidisciplinary team and also links with the community so that we can better address uh, all the needs that people come into the clinic, either through telemedicine or in person with and then social, family, and community supports. So as an example, our social worker who does outreach has, has been making uh, links and relationships in the community, 
um, to start up uh, support groups and peer support programs. And that's a really important uh, area of growth within hepatitis C in treatment. So what are the benefits of telemedicine? Well, the first is just providing access to treatment for many people who wouldn't otherwise um, be able to or want to come into um, the hospital. And then greatly reduced travel expenses and time away from work and from their home. There are challenges to telemedicine coordination, however. These are ones we're always looking at improving. One is scheduling and connecting with patients. Um, we only have a limited number of time slots in terms of the telemedicine, um, so it's getting people into the, the spots we have. And then adherence with required testing, follow-up appointments, and so forth. Um, it's important that patients are monitored while they're on treatment, even if we're doing it from a distance. And obtaining results from lab testing. So not all the um, labs in rural or remote communities have access to, um, say, FibroScan or, or other um, tools to be able to provide the, the testing that patients need as they're undergoing treatment for hepatitis C. Uh, and then sometimes just delays in getting test results back to the clinic. And then finally, stigma. It's an important issue. Stigma and coordination of care with um, service providers in the community. Uh, so as a team at the Ottawa Hospital, we work in this area. This is what we do. Um, in the community, people might not have and often don't have as much knowledge um, related to hepatitis C. So there can be a lot of um, stigma related to treating and caring for people living with hepatitis C. So I thought I'd just give a brief overview. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, the program coordinator, Lynn Vignala, or um, the clinical medicine, telemedicine nurse, Anka, would be happy to address those questions, or I would also. So thank you so much for, for inviting me, and have a lovely afternoon.